Hey, what's up, guys? Fishing with Tyler and Wyatt. Uh, Tyler couldn't make it today. He's still in North Carolina. He got stuck in the hurricane there. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's right here. He finally came up to New York. But uh, we're going to be fishing uh, in an hour or two, maybe. Yeah, probably. And Something we're like going to be filming, probably. So I guess we'll just go through the tackle we're going to be I'm gonna using. I'm going to go grab my camera real quick. All right. Can you grab my... Oh, wait, no, I'll grab mine. It's fine. Uh, we're going to go through the tackle that we're using. Right now I have a bass hook on, but yesterday we went to the spot. I posted a video there. It was like where I caught that five pounder, but we didn't get anything. We may have got a couple hits, but I think it was bait fish jumping on our lines. But I'm going to tie retie. Um, we're probably going to go to the creek near us. And then use crankbaits or something. Rattle traps. Tyler left his popper in my thing. Alright, um, so we're also, we're mostly going to be using straight king coffee tubes and uh, power bait tubes. And here, we might bring like a spinning rod. We might both bring our spinning rod, but in here there are little tiny tubes. Too, that we use for pan fish and smallmouth too. Right here are some sankos, but we're not gonna. We're probably not so gonna be using them. Okay, stuff right there for a second. All right. Unless we find a pretty good spot that have that has some weeds. But right here, I bought this little spinner bait from Walmart the other day. Right here is a two buck, but I bought a like a eight that. Twelve dollar crankbait, I think. Yeah. And my my first time using it, I got stuck on a rock and it broke off. Oh. <laughs> what? I can't use this today. Why not? Um, oh, man, the card in it. Wow. He can't use his camera. I guess oh, wait, he'll wait, just wait. be filming. Yeah, I can't use it. God, I left my SD card in my computer at my dad's. Oh my so lord. Right here are rattle traps. I guess you guys will just be watching from my point of view today then. But right here are some rattle traps that we're going to be using too. Oh, you, did you take yours off? Yep. Alright. That's what's in this box. And then in my last box, uh, some Sankos and some hooks. Um, right here is uh, my rod and reel combo. It's a little dance. Uh, those, can't read it. I know what it is, I just forgot it. Quant Quantum, I think. Yeah, it's a Bill Dance Quantum Special Edition with a Bill Dance reel. We got it from Bass Pro Shops for my dad, but he never used it. And that's my setup. What are you gonna tie on? Um, I'm probably gonna go out to the barn and find like a couple crankbaits or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, also have the scale. Take your cams right here. Here you go. Yeah. Let's see how charged it is. It's probably dead. <laughs> I mean, I haven't used it in a while, so I think it will still be at like two to three. Two. Two? So how long will it last? An hour and a half, oh, maybe. That's, that's good. That's good, dude, good. Alright, uh, Tyler's gonna show his setup and everything. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, can you move your stuff real quick? Sweet. I have a lot more than him because I'm a better fisherman, I guess. No, I just oh, bought so this. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. Hey, at least my bag has more boxes. Yeah, true. I need a lot more boxes. Nah, I guess I'll just put it in after the video. I'm gonna move your coffee right here. Yeah. Okay, so in here, I have, like, um, all my hard baits, basically. Like, my spinner baits and stuff. Um, big fan of, ooh, that's a mess. Big fan of chatter baits. I love, I love using these. I might use one of these today. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or the dark blue one. But I also have, like, a couple frogs and stuff in here. Um, bucktail jig, buzz baits, and stuff like that. No. 
probably use that. Magic mana? Yep. This little guy, I caught one fish on it, and it's like perfect. Um, yeah, I tried to use my, I tried to use a rattle trap yesterday, I didn't catch anything like that. So that's that box. I don't really have a lot in that one yet. Why is it not shooting? Probably because it's and it's a bad. <laughs> Okay, so, and then in this box, I have, like, all my salt plastics, like, my, um, Senko's craw beds, um, I don't, can't remember what these are called, someone gave me these, um, I forgot what they were called, but I have, like, salamanders and stuff in here, like that, and, uh, giving more Senko's, I'm gonna set that right there for now. Oh, those catch the values. Huh. Color, those colors actually catch the blue ones. Yeah. And then, in here we have some swim baits, some chatter baits, some spinner baits, some deep diving baits. I have not used these yet. They're, they're the uh, baby crawfish, the little crawfish. Perfect for small mouse. Um, oh, yeah, I got some spinner hooks. Oh, one of my chatter baits are really open. Got this brownish colored chatterbait. That might work. This might work down there, yeah. And then got this. It's a frog that's like kind of like a buzz bait. This part uh, spins on it like a buzz bait does. Then I got some hooks. Got another deep diving bait. Buzz bait. Juicy jig. I don't, honestly, I've never used one of these, so I really don't know how to use it. I feel like we're doing like five dollar bling and stuff like that. You know how they do that? Like they hold it up and like yeah. explain it. But it's like we're trying to sell it. This one you uh you like find a weed edge and then you cast it right on the side of the weed edge. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to use it. This frog yeah, right here know. came in uh mystery tackle box. Wait no. This one didn't come in the mystery tackle box. But um I used this in one of my mystery tackle box videos I posted and it works freaking amazing you guys will have to go check out the uh mystery turtle box video and then uh i got this bigger spinner bait and then i got some more hooks and stuff and then in here oh my god that's a lot of soft plastics i have my white grubs um I forgot the name of these ones what are all those and then, worms. yeah worms and then i have these ones and then I have these ones for the, uh, I bought these personally because I have two different size, um, chatterbaits. So I bought these smaller ones for the smaller white chatterbaits, obviously. And then these ones for the bigger white chatterbaits. Oh, you can use those. And then we got, um, these crawl beds, bluish color crawl beds. What else do I have in here? And then baby ones. And then watermelon green ones. And that was it right there. And then I have, like, these tube looking things. These came in the mystery tackle box. I have not used them yet. And I don't know. I can't remember if these came in the mystery tackle box or what. But they, they were already open, it looks like. Unless they just didn't put, like, very many of them in there. And then this came in the mystery tackle box. They're, they're supposed to make crawl beds and stuff. And then we got these things. That are, uh, Cousin Wyatt said that. They're supposed to be mimic minnows, right? Yeah. You said? Okay. Any bait fish, actually. Any bait fish. Injured. And then... In here, I have, like, my mask and stuff. And the scale. His scale is obviously a lot nicer and a lot more expensive than mine. But hey, it works. And then in this pocket, I just have, like, um, band-aids and stuff. Nothing too special, just, like... Uh, disinfectant stuff for your cuts and everything. So, because rather than North Carolina, it's always smart to carry like water and stuff with you just in case like you get hurt or something, especially in the middle of summer. And then I have some more um, baits. Uh, they're the same thing, but yeah. And then, oh, uh, obviously, you can't forget your knife. Yeah, hopefully, this video doesn't get taken down because it showed the knife. <laughs> it shouldn't. And then I got this, more hooks and everything. That's really it for my setup, so. Oh, yeah. And 
I show you guys. That's not my bit caster. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Black Max. Uh, I use this Bay Caster, it's Black Max, with a right hand retrieve on it. Um, next generation. Left hand team. 24 ton. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, my Bay Caster. I don't know what I'm going to tie up. This has better backbone. So if, it's um, better. Uh, well, I don't know what I'm going to tie up because I don't know what's going to work down there. So, yeah. I guess we'll find out. I might. Oh, yeah. uh, no, I'm not going to try this at the Black Iron Bridge. Don't worry, I had a uh, Guggen Squad freaking... Crankbait. Crank, yeah. Uh, Guggen Squad Crankbait that I was using the other day that they sent me in the Mystery Tackle Box. And I was kind of bummed out because uh, it caught a lot of fish on it. And yesterday we were fishing and got it snagged on the bottom Same. of the lake. So, yeah. I don't have it anymore. I was so mad because I that that crank bay was freaking amazing. It was um orange, yellow. It had it was no, it was red with an orange stomach and it had black stripes on it. Mine was actually a pretty big crank bait with a tiny nose, so it was a shallow diver. It was extremely good, but I didn't catch anything. But I'm tired. I could have caught stuff. <laughs> For some reason, I'm really tired right now, but. Yeah, so, I don't know. Should I tie this on and try to use it down there at the back of the If you want. I might try a white chair, baby. Because I know, I would use the frog, but there's no sense of using a frog down there. Like, what's going to... Unless there's swirls on top of the water. Yeah. Unless it comes in too neat. But, yeah, um, probably the first thing that I might try are these. No baby crawl dads. I might give these a try at first, but see if they work. I gotta take this garbage out. Yeah, I should bring my tiny little dog demon. <laughs> Actually, I can go run out there and grab my dog demon real quick and show the video. Oh, uh, yeah, you can do that. I just tied my tube on. You like it? I'm just gonna reorganize my box while I'm waiting for him to come back home with his. Can you grab my open rail? Yeah. My spinning rod? So, this is gonna go here. Just like that. Oh yeah, I don't know if any of you guys realize, or if any of you guys get the mystery tackle box, but do you guys get this? Have you guys ever had this stick in the mystery tackle box? Just put it on me yesterday. Pretty nice. Okay, so here comes the fun part now. I get like really, really uh, neat about this stuff. Just sharp okay, I need all the same colors in the same row. For the whites, for the blues, for the mountain greens. Right there. And then. You can never have too many soft plastics. Like why I say. Dude, that's a lot of soft plastic. Come on, that's soft plastic. I just buy what I need and know what I'm going to use a lot. I might try these at first. With, uh, my... Oh, it's a truck. I thought that was a gust of wind. But I'm going to try these on my open rod at first. These might work. Might not. I don't know how they're going to be down there at the Black Island Bridge. And... This is on the back right here. But yeah, if you guys are like interested in any of the the big uh big bites, uh yeah, big bite baits, definitely try to like get a mystery tackle box because the way that I got a lot of these soft plastics, besides like the zooms and stuff, um they were in the mystery tackle box. But it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth getting that. They definitely take their time out. And yeah, just Google Squad is great in general. So. It might take him a minute to come back in because. Or, no, he's right there. Yeah. I was like, oh, I gotta put this back in this. I might take a nap before we go fishing because I'm really tired. For some reason, it's weird. Probably because it's still on the floor. Okay. 
Your house, your old house. Yeah, your old house number four. <laughs> so I haven't touched this in a while. So as you can see, there's spider webs on it. But on this rod, it says Zeb Code Doc Demon Deluxe with a Shakespeare Walmart rod, uh, Walmart reel. The reason why I have this reel on it is because the old reel sucked. And me and my mom, my brother went through a phase where we just bought like, three red Walmart rods. Just go to every creek that you see. Yeah, for a bit, can't do items here. <laughs> I remember when I used to be trash with bait casters. Uh, every cast, I would get like a freaking bird's nest. I mean, I'm still not the best with bait casters, but definitely a lot better. Right here, I got a crappie rat magnet on. I might use this. But... Yeah, I know. I was thinking about using one of my the white grubs on my open spinning yeah. rod. If you guys have not seen any videos, this thing can hold up to uh, a lot of pounds. I know he has a separate Look YouTube. Jeez, oh, that's like a nice rod. Isn't that yours? No, it's not even the nice rod. Maybe you could use that as a nice rod. But um, I think you have a, your separate channel. Um, he has a separate channel that he does gaming and stuff on. So gaming and fishing. It's called yeah. fishing and vlogs. I tried to. I ripped his channel off because his is drone and vlogs. Yeah, my old one that I don't post to anymore. Oh yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna set this here. This is my spinning rod. Um, I forgot the name of this because it's an I'd, ugly stick. Well, I know this is an ugly stick. I'm just talking about the real. It's um, Q-Tray. Wait, no, Q-Ray. Q okay, it's Q-Ray. This is the name of the spinning reel. But, um, yeah, this is my ugly stick. Mm, got a, um, Some mice watermelon mice green mice. worm on it. Tried it yesterday. Didn't work out very well. <laughs> I might. I actually might cheat today and bring down some worms. If we can't catch anything on fake baits today, then I might just bring down, like, a worm or something. I think some mice may have gotten to my grub. It yeah, was not like maybe. that before. <laughs> it was um, perfect. Do you got any grub hooks in your... Where's your bag at? Because right I'm, I'm going to steal that red box from so we can tie on a grub hook. I'm putting a tube on. You're putting a tube on? Yeah, because tubes. No, I'm talking about on my open rail. I don't know what I'm going to put on my no. bait caster. I might okay. throw it on. Putting this. Oh, that was. Actually, no, I'm not going to tie on that. Are you I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to put on my card ads on. These are my mom's favorite bait, these little tubes. She slays fish on them, too. I don't know how she does it, but, like, every time we go fishing... Last time we went fishing, I caught... Uh, last time, we, I think me and her went fishing, and my dad, uh, I caught a pickerel, and she caught, like, 30,000 rock bass and bluegill. One of the bluegill... Um, Look at these little guys. Little crawlers. You can get these at Walmart. I think this was, like, $2. Actually, I think it was, like, $3, yeah. I mean, they come with, like, their own hooks and everything. Got, like, the little hooks with the weights on it. They had hooks, they call them. But, um... It tells you how to put it in. Yep, they tell you how to put them on and everything. So... You put it through the back then. I'm not really good at this. You want me to do it? Yeah, you can do it. Alright. You basically just put it in, like, a... Like a tube? Tiny tubes. But, just go... Here, I'll do you. I'll, uh... Hold on. The instructions are not very good on this to like fade it away. They are very faded on here. Huh. That's right. Yeah, I like to do that. I don't want to set up. It's like tying up tubes. I am not good at tying tubes. Wait a minute. Are they different size? I think they come like. Is that the same size? Yeah. Oh. Uh, These actually look pretty realistic, not gonna lie. Yeah, I know. I was shocked. I was going to get a dragonfly, but they wanted like $6 for a dragonfly. Um, it may or may not have worked, but I'm not saying anything against that. But that was kind of pricey for a dragonfly. I'd go to say to do it. I mean, it looks good to me. There's just like a giant gray thing sticking out of its ass. Oh, yeah. Yep. The fish aren't picky. Yep. See, the instructions aren't very clear, though. 
So I'm gonna sink that, I think. We'll just jig this. Just use it like a tiny tube. Yeah. If I actually catch something off this, I'm gonna be shocked. Actually, no, I really won't be. Because there's yeah. a lot of coral dads down there. And they're exactly like tubes. Now, how do you guys tie on yours? We do like a fisherman's knot kind of thing. You know what that means. There you go. This Doc Demon isn't really the best rod to use. It's tiny, but it's pretty damn heavy. The reel makes it heavier because the original reel is actually... Actually, it's not that heavy. You can feel a lot of stuff with it. My dad was saying that uh, it wouldn't be good for walleye jigging. But I'm like, I like, I'm like, you could cast, you could literally just put your rod off the side of the boat and it will, you can go down there perfectly. There. Hmm, plastic tastes wonderful. So I got a tiny tube. There we go. Got it tied on. Um, these clippers real quick. I got a tiny tube on this rod and then on this rod. I got the big one. If I could even get in frame there. Wait a minute. Oh, I tied this onto my bait caster and didn't even realize it. Really? Shit. Jesus. I tied it onto the wrong rod. I've never done that. <laughs> I want to be careful that light bud. Yeah, I see that. Break your rod. <laughs> okay, well, now I got to retie that on. But you guys get the gist. You got anything else you want to show? Oh, almost got it. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I can't believe I just tied that on. I wasn't even thinking about that. Because I was gonna tie it on to my open reel. And tie it on to my bait caster. Oh, I could use a spinner bait on here, too. Yeah, you could. I wonder how That'd far be I nice. could cast. I'll be right back. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end the video. Alright, see you guys. So, see you guys. Um, yeah. See ya. <laughs> but, um, alright, so... He's going to be, like he said, I forgot my SD card from my camera. Don't even know how I did that. But I thought it was in my camera. So now I got to go back to my dad's, uh, dad's house before I can even use that camera. And yeah, so now I guess we just have one camera for now. So, All right, well, I'm going to go take a nap before we go fishing because I'm very tired. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one.